If I were to say the phrase, Native American Indian, images like these would come across the minds of almost all of you. And although you understand that tribes can't be found in small tents and hunting buffalo, it is commonly overlooked that there are about 86 million Indian descendants living among the American people today. And therefore, Indian stereotyping isn't as uncommon of an occurrence as one might imagine. And although the native people of this day and age look nothing like their ancestors, stereotypical labels such as the images of chiefs shown before have been eternally plastered on all Native American people through the use of comics, childhood movies, and even sports teams' mascots. It is the derogatory stereotypes like these that have caused harsh feelings of Native Americans all over the country, who are outraged and ashamed that their culture has become somewhat of a joke, and that their ancestors are being mocked and portrayed as small savages. These stereotypes have caught the attention of many prominent Native American speakers. The particular case of Susan Schoen Harjo stands out among the rest. Now a 67-year-old Cheyenne woman, Susan had felt the impact of Native American stereotypes on her family from a young age. After publishing numerous books, creating her own blog, as well as guest speaking at colleges across the country, Susan has made an imprint on the lives of many. She's developed key federal Indian law since 1975, including the most important national policy advances in the modern era for the protection of the Native American cultures and arts. As executive director of the Morning Star Institute, which is a national Native rights organization founded in 1984, Ms. Harjo was one of the seven prominent Native Americans who filled out the Morning Star sponsored lawsuit against pro football incorporations. This lawsuit was filed specifically in regard to the mascot and team name of the Washington Redskins, whose stereotypical Indian icon outraged many present day Native Americans. Susan's personal story regarding mascots, and one of the reasons she fought so hard to reduce the number of savage like portrayals through sports teams was an event that occurred when she was just a young girl. Her cousin, who once had a crush on an American boy, was spat upon because he didn't like that she was Indian. This same boy became school mascot, Oklahoma's Little Red. He came to Harjo's cousin, asked her to sell him her native clothes and teach him how to dance. In response, she immediately took her clothes off and burned them in the front yard. Harjo recounted the story, laughing at the absurdness, however stressing the fact that these mascots didn't understand their way of life. Susan filed a lawsuit and won in 1992, however it was reversed in 2003. She responded to this with many outraged books and pamphlets and is currently today still fighting to put an end to these obscene Indian portrayals. A shame that their ancestors are being portrayed by these mascots as savages and beasts, as well as embarrassed that their culture is being mocked, Harjo and many other prominent Native American leaders have put their foot down and begun to reverse the stereotypical damages that have already been done.